In this lesson, we are going to continue our discussion on counter strain in specific regions of the body. This video will be on the thoracic region. As with the cervical region, we will complete this chart where we list the tender point, its location, and its treatment position. On the anterior thoracic side, we'll start with AT1. AT1 is located below the sternal notch along the midline, and the treatment is pure flexion. AT2 to AT6 are all located on the midline, and specifically they're located at the same level of the corresponding vertebrae of the number of the tender point that you're talking about. AT2 to AT6, the treatment position for all of those tender points are pure flexion. Now from AT7 to AT11, each of those anterior thoracic tender points are actually going to have three locations. So this can be a little challenging and overwhelming because there's three tender points that you need to know within all of the next tender points that we're going to talk about. So bear with me and I'll show you where the tender points are located and it'll make a little bit more sense. AT7 has three locations. The first is inferior to the xiphoid. And then the second and the third are both at the mid clavicular line on the right and the left at the seventh intercostal space. The treatment position is flexion, side bending towards, and rotation away, or F straw. Now, here's an image, and we're going to fill this image in as we go because, again, when you're talking about three tender point locations, it can be a little challenging and overwhelming. So we have three locations for AT7. We have just below the xiphoid, and then we have the midclavicular lines on both sides at the seventh intercostal space. So you see these tender points in light blue on this image. Now let's do AT8. Just like AT7, AT8 has three locations. The first is along the midline at the level of T12, and the second and the third are still on that midclavicular line, but we're down a little bit, and now we're at the level of T12. Just like AT7, the treatment position is F straw, flexion, side bending towards, rotation away. Now luckily, the treatment positions from AT7 and beyond will all be F straw. So I'll just tell you that now because that's not the hard part. The hard part here is memorizing the location. And I wanna pause for a second because a lot of medical students consult resources when they're studying for Comlex that give you this BS about where these tender points are located. And they do things like one-fourth of the way between the xiphoid and the umbilicus, two-fourths of the way, three-fourths of the way. And while that can be useful for some people, the problem with that is that you don't know the level. What's the point of knowing halfway between the xiphoid and the umbilicus if you don't know what thoracic level you're talking about or what intercostal space you're talking about? Because test writers are not going to write one half of the way between the xiphoid and the umbilicus. What they're going to want to know is the level. Or what they'll maybe even give you in the vignette is the level. So they'll tell you the thoracic level. They'll tell you the intercostal space. And that's why I'm writing it this way in this chart. It's not useful for you to know that it's three-fourths of the way between the umbilicus and the xiphoid. Maybe that will work for you on your in-class practical if you have a pretty chill professor. But on Comlex, this is not going to cut it. So if you're looking at another resource and you're wondering why I'm not simplifying it and doing the, you know, every fourth from the, from the umbilicus to the xiphoid, this is why. You need to know the level. So for AT8, look, it, it's all T12. You have T12 midline and T12 along the midclavicular lines on both sides. So let's go back to our image. We have AT7 from before. Here's AT8. These are all in the same line, right? Same horizontal plane at the level of T12. So, so pretty easy. Again, I could have written one half of the way between the xiphoid and the umbilicus, but that's not going to be useful for you on Comlex. So I'm omitting that. No T12 for AT8. So again, F straw is going to be our treatment position. That's, that's going to be true of treatment positions from AT8 all the way down through the end of this slide. Now let's look at AT9. AT9 has three locations. Its first is that it's superior to the umbilicus at the level of L2. The second and the third locations are on the midclavicular line, this time at the level of L2. So everything here is at the level of L2 in the same horizontal plane. 
The treatment position is F straw, flexion, side bending towards, rotation away. So don't worry about the treatment. You should be memorizing now that all of the anterior thoracics are F straw with the exception of the first two on this chart. Let's go back to our diagram. Here we are. You see the AT9 tender points shown in green. There's three locations. They're all located at the level of L2 just above the umbilicus, right? Don't worry about three-fourths, one-half, one-fourth. No, no, no. L2 is what you need to memorize for AT9. Okay, so let's do AT10. AT10 also has three tender point locations. It's located just inferior to the umbilicus around the level of L4, and then the, the, the second and third location, you're still on the midclavicular lines on the left and the right side, also at the level of L4. So for AT10, what level are you guys memorizing? You're memorizing L4. Treatment position, just like I told you before, flexion, side bending towards, rotation away. So we're, we're still talking about F straw here. So that's AT10. Let's do AT11, and I'll draw these in for you after we finish with AT12. AT11, three locations, midline at L5, and then the second and third locations, you're on the midclavicular lines on the right and the left, and this time you're at the level of the sacral base. Treatment position, unsurprisingly, we're still F strawing, okay? Flexion, side bending towards, rotation away. The final anterior thoracic tender point is AT12, okay? AT12 bilaterally is located just superior to the ASIS at the level of the iliac crest. Treatment position for AT12 is F straw. So before I even show you where we draw in AT10, AT11, and AT12, I want to pause for a second because look at this chart. If you're sitting at home and you're feeling overwhelmed and you don't think you have enough brain space to memorize all of this, the way to simplify this is to say to yourself, anterior thoracic tender points, we use F straw. Really, the only thing you need to memorize are the levels from AT7 to AT12 where these tender points are located. And if you make a chart and you go down, it shouldn't be too hard. Seventh intercostal, T12, L2. L4, L5 sacral base, superior ASIS. If you do that over and over and over again, you'll memorize this pretty easily. So let's draw in our tender points. I have two images here. The image on the left has AT7, 8, and 9, which we've already talked about. I've just combined them onto one image for your studying pleasure. And then the image on the right will have AT10, 11, and 12. And I'm going to draw them in now. So you see the umbilicus. And this image is not drawn perfectly to scale, but I think it gets the job done. And here we go. So you see AT10, shown in orange, just below the umbilicus. That's around the level of L4. You see AT11, if we drop down, shown in pink. AT11 is located midline at the level of L5. And then on the lateral sides, on the right and left, at the sacral base. And then AT12, shown in that sort of bronze mucusy color, located at the superior ASIS, at the level of the iliac crest. Okay, so we're trying to keep things simple here, but you do need to know the levels where these tender points are located. So know them well, remember F straw. That's it for the anterior thoracic counterstrain points. Now we're going to switch gears and talk about the posterior thoracic counterstrain points. So these tender points tend to be so much simpler and I think you'll appreciate how much easier it is to memorize posterior points compared to the anterior ones. When we talk about the posterior thoracic tender points, it's really simple and all you need to do is separate these based on if they are along the spinous process or the transverse process. So PT for posterior thoracic goes from 1 to 12 and at each of these tender points you can have the central or spinous process tender point or you can have the more lateral or transverse process tender point. The spinous process ones are located along the inferior lateral aspect of the corresponding spinous process level at the tender point number that you're talking about. And the transverse process ones are located along the lateral aspect of the corresponding transverse process of the number that you're talking about. So the locations sort of make sense. They're at the spinous and transverse process, respectively. And really, the only thing that differs here is the treatment position. So for those central or spinous process posterior thoracic points, you're going to use e extension, side bending away, rotate away. 
And for the transverse or lateral PT tender points, you're going to use ESART, extension, side bend away, rotate toward. And my mnemonic to remember, to remember this is super easy. E Sarah ends in A, and that's along the midline. So E Sarah A along the midline on the spinous process. And E SART, T for transverse, it's E SART, it ends with T, T for transverse process. So you've got PTs on the spinous process, those are the central ones, E Sarah, because they're along the midline. And then you've got PTs on the transverse process, T for transverse, so you're going to use E SART, because that ends in T. And just to illustrate where these points are, so here's our posterior view of the thoracic area. We've got our midline points, which are shown here in blue. They occur along the spinous processes. And then we've got the corresponding lateral PT points. These occur along the transverse processes. So as you can see, the posterior points are super, super easy to memorize. Just remember that mnemonic I gave you, and you will be good to go when it comes to posterior thoracic tender points.